that would be something that my constituents would ask me, is that, Mayor, can you explain what this is about? And we would communicate about that. Do you, well, do you know what it's about? No, I don't. How much money is going to actually be generated? Where's the mental health facility going to go, and what actually are they going to do? She's never communicated to any mayor that I'm aware of, and that's really our concerns is, you know, what is she going to do with this pot of money that she's going to get? Basically fighting against the devil, the evil spirits. I'm the good spirit, they the, they the evil spirit, because i never seen nobody try to tear down people this much. We in the news every single day. Y'all, if y'all ain't gaddy, I don't know what to tell you. I am a black, single parent and I get beat up on every day. Tiffany Teflon Tahoe, she's been destroying Dalton. She's been destroying Thornton Township. And now she's trying to figure out how to make the residents of Thornton Township shell out even more money. Finally, you have the other mayors within the township speaking out against her. And of course, her defense is she's a black single mother and everybody's just bothering her. I guess we're supposed to ignore all of her crimes because she's a single parent. The craziest thing about it all is that she's been the one destroying black women in Dalton and Thornton Township. But here she is once again acting like a victim. We're going to get into it, but first, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Won't waste any time, let's go ahead and get into it. Got a controversy over a tax proposal in the South Suburbs. Some lawmakers are questioning whether the money will be spent properly. Thornton Township trustees expressing concerns about that proposal moving forward. Dane Placco joining us live with what is giving them pause. Dane? Yeah, a large group of South Suburban mayors have now banded together to urge their constituents to vote no on a referendum that would give Thornton Township and its controversial supervisor, Tiffany Henyard, nearly $3 million in new funding. How many of the villages do you think are opposed to this? The majority of them. All of them. All of them. All of the ones that signed. This afternoon, we met with the mayors of Markham, Homewood, and East Hazelcrest, who are among 11 South Suburban mayors who signed that letter, urging their residents to vote no to giving Thornton Township more money. It comes in the form of a referendum on next week's primary ballot that asks taxpayers whether they support a 0.15% property tax increase for the township that would go for mental health services. If approved, it would raise nearly $3 million in new taxes, roughly $200 a year for a home worth $200,000. But the mayors say Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Hanyard has not explained exactly how that money will be spent. And they point to our reporting on Hanyard's spending both as Township Supervisor and as the mayor of Dalton, including thousands of dollars for trips out of town, using police for a personal security detail, massive amounts of credit card spending, and public tax dollars funneled into a charity in her own name. You know, she tried to do the same thing in Dalton. Yeah, she tried to increase their taxes too. And this is her routine. Whenever she can't get money out of Dalton because the trustees in Dalton, they're going to hold her accountable. She'll go over there to Thornton Township and use all their money because she's been appointing trustees in Thornton so they'll be on her side and allow her to do whatever she wants. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. So she's trying to increase these property taxes in Thorn Township that's going to impact 17 different villages, cities, and towns. And that's why the mayors are speaking up because why do you need more money anyway? They have plenty of money over there in Thorn and she's been using it all up on herself. That would be something that my constituents would ask me, is that, Mayor, can you explain what this is about? And we would communicate about that. Do you, well, do you know what it's about? No, I don't. How much money is going to actually be generated? Where's the mental health facility going to go? And what actually are they going to do? She's never communicated to any mayor that I'm aware of. And that's really our concerns is, you know, what is she going to do with this pot of money that she's going to get? Now, there are a total of 17 suburbs within Thornton Township. As we mentioned, at least 11 of the mayors of those uh, villages have uh, signed on to this letter. We reached out to Hanyard through her public relations agency. So far, we have not received any response to their concerns. Live in Markham, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago. WGN Investigates has an update on a deficit of trust in the south suburbs. It's leading mayors to urge their residents to vote no on a proposed tax for mental health services. And the mayors say the politician asking for that money can't be trusted. Investigative reporter Ben Bradley here with the story. 
Mental illness is real. I don't care what y'all say. Mental illness is real. But y'all have to be willing to do something about it. Illinois' largest township, which covers all or part of 17 south suburbs, wants to provide new mental health services and facilities and is asking voters to approve a new tax to pay for it. Me, Tiffany Henry. I support the tax. It's $42. The Thornton Township mental health tax would add an extra $42 per year on a $100,000 home. They hope to raise $2.9 million in all. Residents spoke for and against the tax Monday night. When we vote down your tax increase, I hope every one of the residents also vote down these trustees who supported you. I'm glad that brother said it. All of the trustees supporting this woman, the ones in cahoots with her in Thornton, and those two guys in Dalton, all of them should be held accountable as well. Because if you see what she's doing and you're trying to be on the side of giving her more power to destroy the village, to destroy the township, then you're also a problem. So all these folks over there in Thornton, especially Carmen, if you missed that video on her, I'll leave the link below, you gotta see it. But all of them should be held accountable too. Everybody hollering about that, this tax here, this tax there. If it's something that's dealing with mental illness, we got to do something about this. And if the township want to step up and do something, then hey, we ought to support them. Nobody says mental health can't be supported. It should be supported within the existing budget, which means you should cut out all the excessive spending that she's been allowed to carry on with. The answer isn't to raise taxes. And for the intelligent people, we already know what Tiffany Tahoe is doing. Just like she used breast cancer to have this fake organization to funnel money through, she's doing the same thing this time with mental health while trying to get a budget of an extra $3 million by raising property taxes. That's stupid. Use your common sense. 11 of 17 mayors who represent suburbs in the township, along with two Cook County commissioners and a state senator, penned this letter urging a no vote. They call it a needless and inefficient duplication of services, but also add township supervisor Tiffany Henyard essentially can't be trusted with the money. They reference our reporting on Tiffany Henyard's unexplained spending of tax dollars on first class travel, restaurant meals, self-promotion, and more basically fighting against the devil, the evil spirits. I'm the good spirit, they, they, they the evil spirit. City girl mayor, stop it. You are the devil. We're not gonna talk about these random fires happen out of nowhere after you had issues with people, allegedly. We're not gonna talk about how a woman's house was sprayed nine times after she had a problem with you, allegedly. Oh yeah, how can I forget the woman that was working for you claimed something was slipped in her drink and she was taken advantage of on your watch, your little field trip to Vegas. You told her to trust you, you would take care of it. And instead you fired that woman. I got one name for you, Tiffany Tahoe, Alexis Wilson. You see, I can say her name and you can't get your police chief Lacey to throw me out of the room. Alexis Wilson, Tahoe. I am not going for this whole Tyler Perry monologue. Talking about the devil. Drake! Look in the mirror. Because I never seen nobody try to tear down people this much. We in the news every single day. Tear down? You mean hold you accountable for what you're doing to the people? Y'all, if y'all ain't gaddy, I don't know what to tell you. I am a black single parent and I get beat up on every day. Yes, she said that because she's a black woman and a baby mama, we're not supposed to say anything. Which is why she's been allowed to do what she's been doing for so long. She can say she's a woman and she can say that she's black and I guess being a single parent is supposed to relieve her of responsibility as well. It's not just trust and transparency that's lacking. A new complaint filed by Henyard's former assistant says she was fired for reporting to Henyard an alleged sexual assault by a Dalton trustee on a taxpayer-funded trip to Vegas. I mean, if any of that is true, it's just, I mean, unacceptable, it's just disgusting. I mean, I don't see how, you know, which could continue as a township supervisor. Well, that trustee's call for Henyard's resignation won't have much of an impact because all of the other trustees on the township board are Henyard loyalists, some of whom have enjoyed that first-class travel on the taxpayer's dime. She does face significant opposition in Dalton, where she's the mayor, and opposing trustees there have called for a federal investigation. That mental health tax question, well, that is on Tuesday's ballot. Micah and Ray.
Well, so we'll see what happens with that vote come election day. It's the second time around. It narrowly lost the first time, so we'll see. All right, Ben, thank you for that. That issue of the property tax increase will be on the upcoming ballot. That should be settled by the township's vote on Tuesday in just a couple of days here. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Let me know what you think about this below. Special thank you to Selden GA Dogs. I appreciate you for all of your support as well as Paul K and my sister Tina. Shout out to Tina for always showing support. Don't forget that you can support this channel as well. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis? Want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.